Ohio voters approved a measure to legalize recreational marijuana across the state, defying Republican legislative leaders who failed to pass that proposed law. But what does this mean for Ohio? What's next for recreational marijuana is the big story today. Well, nearly half of the United States now has legal cannabis laws after Ohio voted to legalize recreational marijuana. Ohio is the 24th state to legalize recreational weed. So let's take a look at some of the states where it is currently legal to purchase marijuana for recreational use. Every state on a list that we're about to show you has authorized the use for medicinal purposes prior to full legalization. Washington and Colorado were the first two states back in 2012 to legalize recreational marijuana. Well, that new law allows people 21 years and older to buy or possess up to two and a half ounces of marijuana, as well as allowing people to grow plants at home. Under the new law, a 10% tax will be imposed on purchases, which will be spent on administrative costs, addiction treatment, and municipalities with dispensaries will also receive a cut of the cash, along with social equity and job programs supporting the industry itself. Well, despite Tuesday's vote, the marijuana debate is far from over here in Ohio. Republicans in the legislature already looking at ways to change the law. Action News reporter Josh Krupp is live to explain what could happen next. Josh? Yeah, and Tina, unlike abortion rights, which get enshrined into Ohio's Constitution with Tuesday's vote, marijuana will go down in the books as a regular law. That's because supporters of recreational marijuana took a different legal avenue to get on the ballot. Because it's going to be a law, the legislature has the ability to change it or scrap it altogether, just like other laws. Leading up to the election, the top Senate Republican said he thought there were problems with the proposal. He was concerned about its impacts and where the money would go from taxes. But the top House Republican said in a statement last night that he thinks the focus should now be on how to allocate that new tax revenue that Ohio will get from marijuana. Still, shortly after the race was called last night, the spokesperson for the campaign against issue two put out a pretty strong statement saying nothing's over. The venue just shifts now from the campaign trail to the state house, saying he's confident that there are changes coming, going as far to say it's a guarantee that wholesale changes await, if not an outright repeal. So there is at least a little bit of an appetite among Republicans in the legislature to overturn parts or the entirety of this law. But the question is, Tina, what kind of proposals are ultimately going to come forward that can get enough support among the different factions that exist in the Republican Party in Columbus to pass it? All of that remains to be seen. All right, Josh, so how are the supporters of recreational marijuana responding to the potential that this law gets changed? Yeah, the lead spokesperson uh, for the Yes on Issue 2 campaign says that he believes elected officials here should just respect the will of the people and stay out of it. Uh, and, and here's where what comes next will be interesting to watch. As we head into a year when these lawmakers are up for re-election, marijuana won in more counties last night than abortion rights did, including in, in rural counties and in safe Republican counties. So what will uh, Republicans who represent areas in those places do? Will there be enough consensus to make these changes? Something we'll have to wait and see. All right, Josh Kerr reporting live this afternoon. Thank you. And Northwest Ohio County prosecutors still against the legalization of recreational marijuana. They say they're concerned it will increase the illicit drug market, set them back in the fight against the opioid epidemic, and cause more problems on the roads. A Wood County's prosecutor saying prior to the election that legalizing marijuana raises the bar for law enforcement investigating impaired drivers, adding it's already difficult to prove someone is high while they're behind the wheel. What issue two will do is going to put more drivers on the road who are high in a difficult situation that's to, for, for law enforcement to detect until the damage is already done. On the other side, people commending the passage of issue two are saying that the marijuana industry is an opportunity for Ohio to join in on sales that are already projected to exceed $1 billion annually. A spokesperson for the coalition to regulate marijuana like alcohol saying in part marijuana is no longer a controversial issue. Ohioans demonstrated this by passing state issue two in a landslide. Ohioans are being extremely clear on the future they want for our state. Adult use marijuana, legal and regulated. Right now, non-medicinal cannabis will not be immediately available to purchase in dispensaries. And the general public at this moment is not permitted in dispensaries unless that individual is a registered patient or caregiver in the Ohio Medical Marijuana Control Program. According to the Ohio Department of Commerce, 
They now have nine months to complete the rulemaking and the licensing for the recreational marijuana program. That means sales of non-medical cannabis may not begin until the licenses are issued and those facilities are certified. To give you an idea here of how long that could take, it took three years for Ohio to create its first medical marijuana dispensary back in 2019. So it's possible it could take a while before the recreational facilities are open. So just how many facilities could we see? Well, let's start with medical marijuana. There are currently 37 cultivators, 46 processors, and more than 100 dispensaries across the state. The dispensaries are what you see here. Each current medical marijuana cultivator, processor, and test lab will all receive a non-medical cannabis license. In addition to that, each current level one medical marijuana cultivator will receive three dispensary licenses. The level two cultivators that are out there will receive one dispensary license. And then what you see here, all of those dispensaries, let's take a closer look and we can zoom in with what's happening in our area. All of these current license holders that have those medical dispensary that are open, they will also be given a recreational dispensary license. On top of those, there will be 40 level three cultivator licenses and 50 dispensary licenses issued for recreational marijuana. So if you're not currently in the medicinal business, those who are participating in what's called a cannabis social equity and jobs program will be given priority. That's according to the state. Well, right above Ohio, Michigan already seeing the money roll in after legalizing recreational marijuana and putting dispensaries out there for people to use. Many citizens in the town of Morenci say the marijuana facilities moving in was a revival, bringing life to their town once again and saving them from bankruptcy. Before the dispensaries, locals say the city was dealing with drug problems, including meth and heroin, and there was not enough money to support a full-time police force. The former mayor says the state was months away from taking over the city. And while some residents were skeptical at first, the residents the 13 Action News had a chance to speak with are now saying they're thankful for the facilities because they continue to bring in revenue through taxes, tourism, sales and jobs. It was inevitable that marijuana is coming to Michigan recreationally and I felt that we need to take advantage of it prior to anyone else and generate the revenue flow open these facilities. During the 2022 fiscal year, Morency had a total of five marijuana retail stores or micro businesses, and the city received nearly $260,000 in revenue from those stores. Michigan as a whole also seeing another positive effect of legalizing marijuana. In July, Michigan set a new record for the amount of marijuana sales, setting the state to pass the $3 billion mark by the end of this year. This was something many analysts believe would take more than a few years to achieve. The boom in sales comes from dispensaries located across the state. And as we move closer to the end of the year, dispensaries, many of them, saying they're optimistic about what their sales can generate for the industry. We've seen a crazy increase of business. We've opened a lot of locations. We're all over Michigan. So we've, yeah, we've grown a lot. According to the Cannabis Regulatory Agency, recreational sales for ounces back in July of 2020 were averaging just over $400. Now ounces of marijuana can routinely be found for less than $100 at most shops. And as early as 2017, Michigan State Police launched a pilot program for roadside drug testing. That program was initially to see if testing saliva during a traffic stop was effective. The program was expanded twice across 69 counties in Michigan, but it never made it out of that initial testing phase. The MSP analysis of the oral fluid roadside testing shows it's accurate to some degree for preliminary testing. If officers suspect a driver is impaired, many times that leads to a secondary blood test. And just a reminder, you can watch the entire big story by downloading the 13 Action News app. It is available for a download in your phone's app store.